Hi, Leaving Certificate Higher Level Maths Paper 2 was on this morning and I have the paper here and I've had a good look through it and I'm going to have a chat with you about it now. Overall, it was a very well thought out exam, very fair, balanced, nice accessible parts at the start of each question, a bit of scaffolding in some of the questions and the odd sting in the tail there to keep us on our toes. The, for question one was based on probability, an absolutely lovely opener. I'm sure you opened it and went, oh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. That's lovely. Just fill in the table. But as you got drifted towards part C, it did get a little bit tricky there with a bit of ratios involved. Question two for coordinate geometry of the line. Again, very nice opener, just involving a formula. But then as you move towards the end, again, a little bit tricky. I just seen a theme, right? Question three, same idea again. The part C in question three was very interesting because it was literally like a puzzle. And I suspect some students, you're either going to see it or you're not. It was a little bit hit and miss there for students, I suspect. Or maybe you just sidestepped it, which was possible. Moving on towards question four, a nice trigonometry question. The last part of that, again, a little bit off-putting with the numbers, but actually when you went into it, it was only junior cert maths was required there, right? Uh, question five, a very standard hypothesis test in the statistics. Question six was geometry. I know how much students love geometry, absolutely adore it. I'd say this was not answered by a lot of students, but it was quite straightforward. The part C was an interesting one where you'd come up with your own proof and there would have been multiple approaches on that. Moving on then to the long questions. Again, very nice. We had a bit of volume, a bit of, um, uh, what's that, a sector of a circle. There was a bit of a tricky part in the middle there where it involved trigonometry, which may not have been obvious to a lot of students. And then part E, it actually told you to use similar triangles, which was quite nice. So I'd say that was well answered by most. Moving on to question eight was statistics, a nice scatter plot. Again, a very straightforward question. No curveballs in that one at all. If you had done your statistics and your probability, that should have been fine. Question nine then was area of a triangle and primarily trigonometry again. The, the uh, second part of the question, C and D, looked a bit off-putting, tricky looking diagrams. But again, when, if you stuck with it, you got into it, it was actually quite doable. Okay, but again, it kind of might have thrown a few people off. And then question 10, last but not least, was again statistics, well, well, probability primarily, probability. And again, it started lovely, but as you move towards the end, the part D required a little bit of thinking out, a very cute little question there, a bit of thinking out for students. And then the part E, straightforward enough, but a bit labor intensive, given it was the very last part of the last question on the exam. But the main thing is, guys, it's done. That's fantastic. So that's maths paper two out of the way. That's your maths out of the way. Put the notes away, put the books away. Move on to the next subject now and best of luck with the rest of it.